Okay, welcome to game three of the Murray Cup Grand Final 2016, Destination Requiem versus Fetty Attack 786. Destination Requiem leading the set uh, two games to O. If they win this match, they will be crowned kings of the Murray Cup. They will win the, uh, they will become, uh, yeah, they'll win the Murray Cup. Bloodseeker first ban by Fetty Attack 786. What? What memes? Uh, what dank memes are these? Techies ban from Destination Requiem. Of course, the most feared hero in all of memedom. Well, maybe it's a Slark game for Fight Attack 786. They do have first pick. Bloodseeker is a really nice hard counter to Slark. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Dazzle also banned out. Now, do Destination or Requiem, we are the wieners. Um, <clears throat> do they go for another lol ban? We're going to see a ban on Meepo. Okay. They must have heard about Alex's uh, support Meepo, and the fear is strong. Okay, we're going to have a Pudge picked up. Why not? I heard that Pudge was a better hooker than Lambda's mum and sister. Okay, Shadow Shaman Tiny. No cancer here, boys. There's there's no cancer here. Gandalf saddles up his horse once one more time. This game, I reckon, will be. Uh, we'll see Ags on Tiny by 15 minutes and the game will be over by I'll say 19 and a half minutes that's that's, that's the G's the G prediction okay ban out on IO I mean this is still a good place for Slark to be guys I'm saying you know very meta hero Fourth bomb for Destination Requiem. Elder Titan. Bounty going to get banned out by Fight Attack 76. I'm telling you, this is this is Slark. They're planning a Slark, for sure. 100% confirmed. So, is Aniston on the Shadow Shaman? Matty on the tiny. He's going to hold the door. That's what he's going to do. <clears throat> Task for the offlane. MFZ perhaps undying yeah I think undying is good here with the amount of physical DPS that Tiny's gonna want to do and um, you know people need to get in close Ooh, Omni.
larder. Okay. Um, hmm. Is that right? So we see a uh, broodmother pan out. Now, no natural dispels on 30 attack 786 at the moment. They're gonna ban the Slark, those assholes. No, this was the Slark game. So I guess we're gonna see Pudge Mid, Undying Offlane, Slardar, Safeling Kari, uh, Roaming Ricky, Keeper of the Light support. I mean, Ricky builds Diffusal, obviously. So I mean, that's great for Omni. Undying as well will allow them to be in one place so Ricky can pop out. And Keeper of the Light has a nice big AoE. Slarder can blink and stun, followed by blink from Undying. And Pudge can get in an H Rice or run away. In Challengers. No DCs, it seems. So let's have a little looky here. So Kingy will be on the Mike Myers inspired uh, Pudge. We've got Kill a Lot going on to the Ricky, which makes me think it'll be roaming support. Make Bloodseeker great again on to the Slardar and the Offlane. VNG, of course, on the Keeper of the Light, which leaves us with uh, uh, other uh, Alex on the Undying. Is that right? Yeah. Meanwhile, on the oh my god, they're memeing hard. We got Matty on the Omni Knight carry. We got Zeniston on the uh, Zeniston on the task. Oh god, remember that that game Zeniston played and he lost like a million deaths or whatever. Yeah. Okay. So Zeniston on the task. We got um, Cedarlow on the Shadow Shaman. And hey, on the tiny with the chrome, just a chrome, no blood here. MFC enchantress offline. So it's gonna be a rune for kill a lot. Oh, we got some more action here. It looks like Cedar Low gonna get caught out by the mana. Um, oh, very nicely, very nicely done by Cedar Low. Timed it to perfection, I managed to avoid the stun completely. Matzo looking for the rune. Obviously not really wanting to tag him with King. He, he's got the new immortal though. We like that. Oh, stun from Mate Blood Secret again with the immediate body block to follow up. Here comes Kingy. The heel's there, but Matzo gonna be baited and taken out. That's two kills to Undying, right? It's a really nice set that Mats was sporting there on the undie, on the It's the uh, stalwart soul I must have this. Arctic Brawler. Okay. Oh, snowball forward. Make Blood Seeker great again. In a little bit of trouble, but here comes the Undying. This aggressive tri lane. I've been saying it the whole tournament. Play aggressive tri lane against Matzo. You might have a better luck. And Zeniston gonna go down. Matzo in a little bit of trouble. He will go down as well. Triple kill now for the Alex uh, Undying. Let's actually look at last hits and denies. We got this offlane. 
kill a lot being played in the safe lane because of the aggressive try lane. Oh, a little bit of uh, a little bit of rage. Maybe that is the answer. Make uh, Matsu rat mad again. Yeah. Oh, the hook. Matsu gonna be another casualty. He can't get the heal off. Oh God. I think I'm a little bit confused here. It's like this is not mid. What is this? Oh, the hook! There goes Zeniston with the snowball. He can't snowball anywhere defensively. He's gonna have to stay and take it. Take it, unfortunately. Cedar low. Here comes Matsu with the heal. They're gonna get the kill on Slark. Undying going forward though. Tome almost instantly being taken out. But Matsu gonna get baited in again. The chain is fluffed though. Kingy gonna get caught out this time. And uh, there's no follow up and no way he gets out of that. So, I mean, they're gonna be quite happy with the double kill. Oh, wrecked though. Oh, it's going to go down. That's going to be a huge amount of gold. Not that much gold, actually. So, um, quite interesting, really. Um, Destination Rectory will pick the Cocked Line up because they're winning so hard. And um, Fetty Attack 786 counter this by really hammering their safe link carry. And then get overconfident and cocky and immediately hand all that farm back to the people they don't want to hand it to. Oh, MFZ though, gonna get hooked in. Instantly heals. Here comes Kill a lot, but not able to do anything. Got a sentry here as well. Here is Cedar Low. Kingy gonna get sheep. Heck, it's not great at that level though. Here comes uh, Hay as well, and uh, if it attacks 76, suddenly in a lot of trouble here. fight here. Hey, gonna get caught out. Tiny four man. Cedar Low is here to help, but I'm not sure if it's gonna be enough. It's got no mana for anything. Oh, there's the stun and there's the kill. Undying again. They're looking for Cedar Low. Cedar Low's gone this way though. That's kind of cunning. And then they're gonna look to rotate down on a rainbow MFC on the <laughs> on the um Oh, it's Eniston with a small dodge. There's a stun though, and Kingy will be able to get in there. He's only level 4, so there's no ult, but the Rainbow is going to find Slark. My Little Pony fucked you up, son. My Little Pony, not even once. Cedar below, back into the fight. And uh, MFC feeling quite comfortable despite not having much mana. There won't be too many more of those. There's the hook, but it's wide. And uh, the mana drain though will be the real killer here. Kill a lot blinks in. Oh, not able to find him. Not able to find him. Hey, clashing with make Bloodseek a great again in the mid. Hey, by far the most farmed though. I think the idea is just to destruct. 
Oh, he gets the farm, and Shadow Shaman gets level 6, and then they begin their push trial. Here comes uh, Cedar Low, though, with the Shackles. Hey, gonna go in with the combo. Here's the combo. Avalanche to follow. Oh, gets stunned, gets hexed. Here comes Undying with the Soul Rip on the, uh, the Tombstone, and hey, could be in a little bit of trouble. Unseeker gets caught by the Avalanche. Unfortunately, Keeper's um, thing is wide, and he manages to get the kill uh, by keeping the chance to play a bit Ricky with the sly jump in, picks him off, and collects 460g gold for his troubles. Matzo and Kingy be having for the best of them. Level 6 though on Matzo, obviously those double kills helped out. Kingy only getting assists so far. He does have one kill actually. Oh, MFC gonna get mana drained. Here's Ricky. But Cedar Low gonna get him just outside and the creep actually gonna fuck him up. MFC gonna go down! Mana drain on Tiny. He can't chase. He's chasing. There's the avalanche. There's the toss. And make Bloodseeker great again. Will go down. Undying is here though, instant toll, uh, rip, DK on a tiny, gonna try and drain those hit points just a little bit before they engage. Oh, another mana drain and there is tombstone available and I think we will see a tombstone, he's just trying to get him to bait out some movement before he goes in. There's the toss forward though and that's not gonna be a fun time for them, the tombstone goes up but they're too busy just destroying uh, Undying, they will easily take out the tombstone as well and that is basically just feeding them like 400 gold. What oh, tower fell there? Oh, mid is really low as well. Um, so top is eh, just above half health. Oh, this is an invis. Hook to creep. Good job, Kingy. That is 5k hooks right there. Does he even have level 6? He doesn't have his level 6, so no alt. <coughs> Nine minutes, no level six, offline ta uh, patch. That's, like, that's an okay hook, I guess. That's not a set hook, though, is it? There is a fight going on. We'll, we'll watch, we'll kind of watch the fight while we um, check out his hook. take some damage. Oh, I'm gonna take some more damage. I mean, Radiant Tower was above half health and he's still not taking this mid tower, so one small push is gonna be enough. Pew, pew. Um, a little bit early on the tombstone, I think, but no, definitely too early on the tombstone. A little bit of vision. They can hook there. They really want to hook here though. What they need is a rupture on this enchantress, you know, followed by a hook. Oh, here we go. Matsu gonna pop up uh, his ult. Immune to physical damage. Pretty sure your ult is magical, so I'm not sure why you cancelled it, but maybe he uh, No, I'm not sure why you cancelled it. Mistakes were made by uh, Attack 76. Boom. So I think Matzo is on the uh, quest for Radiance. Kill a lot, gonna get caught Here comes Tiny, there's gonna be another tower. Hook is wide of three. 
Oh, Snowball on a pudge though, not sure that's the best option. Here comes... No, he's gonna die before he gets the uh, tombstone up. Kill a lot, gonna try for something. Where's your ult? There's the ult now. It's late. Kill a lot. Dusted. No Diffusal Blade. So close to Diffusal Blade as well. Definitely Radiance Farming on Matzo. are real Instantly caught out. There will be. <laughs> Fuck. There will be a tombstone, but swiftly dealt with. Just the wrong place at the wrong time. Link forward from Tiny, and that will blow up the Keeper of the Light as well. Meanwhile, on the back of that, Kingy going to get taken out. Is he? Is he? Is he? Definitely going to get taken out. And I make Plus Seeker great. You're going to follow up. There's going to be no escape from the Rainbow of Love. Gem on Cedar Low as well. Ricky with another pick off on the task, just Zeniston having the game of his life, or just his standard task game really. Um, in Money Cup, I don't know how he plays normally. Matt, so we're gonna get caught out here. Um, I don't think they can kill him. I mean, they think they can kill him, but I don't think I don't think they can kill him. <laughs> Meanwhile, MFZ on the back end of it. There's the heal, but Matzo will be back with uh, his own heal. Boom! Heal bomb onto uh, Alex, and Alex gonna actually die, uh, followed by everyone else. Lol. <laughs> or preceded, even in this case. Ricky, they have a gem. Cedar Law going forwards. Oh, the hook. Oh, no. Hi. No Aether Lens. No the Aether Lens on, on Punch. No Aether Lens. Make Bloodseek a great game with the TP into death. Not sure what he was thinking was going to be the end result there. Oh, another miss hook from Kingy. Tiny with the Echo Saber build, actually. Ag's not on the horizon anytime soon. Oh, 
it's all going off now, but not able to do anything. All the uh, all the alts popped. Well, a few of them. Oh, there's the snakes though. Cedar Low will go down to the back slab that he trapped himself in. They will also um, see Slarder going down. Here comes the ice ball forward, the snowballs. Edison gonna die once again though. Ricky gonna get that kill. Super frustrating for them. Toss forward. Hey, with the double damage, he's gonna get taken out as well though. Huge, huge kill a lot. Looking for Matzo now. Now, one of them had a fucking gem. So does Ricky have the gem now? Ricky has a gem. He does have defusal charges as well. This could be problematic at best for Matzo. There's going to be another slow. He does have his ult though. You can buff, you can debuff that dude. Kill him. Nice. So kill a lot on the 9, 2 and 1 Ricky. Well, this should be a perfect heap here. I don't understand how you could fuck this up. Here he goes to save the day. Do, 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 do. Too slow, Ricky, too slow. King ain't gonna try for the hook one more time. Oh, good position up here by Kelvin. Here's Tiny. Hi, Tiny. You just chilling in the woods? Oh, here's the tombstone. There's the wards as well, though, and things just got a little bit more hectic. Blink forward by Kilowatt. Going to get caught out by the tiny avalanche, but not quite enough. There's the owl. That's going to catch Cedar Low. Zeniston going to be fine, though. Meanwhile, on the back end of it, there is an owl going off from uh, Patch, but I don't see where. Decay on three. That'll be a nice little heal, but there is the punch from Zeniston. Oh, maybe let's take a great again. Snowball. More damage, more damage. He dies. Well, at least, you know, they got the Shadow Shaman. He's the key target that they, they really need to take out. He's, you know... Oh, they dropped the gem. Oh, that's a base. Okay, kill a lot with no health. Versus MFC with no mana. <laughs> oh my god, pure punch.
Yeah, so, so basically, basically um, this is going to be a pretty sweet uh, push in here. I don't know if Ricky can get back. Here's the boards. They're definitely going to see this go down. It's past 19 minutes though, so my um, prediction doesn't come true. And uh, big AOE coming in from... Uh, I just did nothing though, from the Keeper of the Light. Rocks! First rocks goes down, second rocks goes down. Now 27 minutes is their longest game so far between these two. Oh, MFC going to TP in and kill a lot and kill a lot. Going to have a little go here. He does have... Oh, MFC must be aware uh, that the heal is there. Defusal, defusal. Yeah, MFC's monster kill going to get taken out by Ricky. Make Blood Seeker great again. Going to get absolutely stomped. I think he got stoned, guys. I'm pretty sure. He was trying to rock out with his, his frock on or something, and uh, he got stoned. Very Ricky's little push. Up here, look at this shit. We got a catapult, boys. Link forward. Oh, Kingy not able to get the out off in time. Save the Keeper of the Light. Kill a lot here though, and he may be able to debuff. You could debuff off the double damage, guys. Remember that. They changed that shit. Ricky gonna get the unstoppable kill. I'm gonna have a little bit of a go here. Cedar Lowe's here as well. There will be a hook back, but right under the wards. Kingy gonna get shackled now as well. And uh, he's pretty much fucked, I think. Shadow Shaman gonna pay for the privilege. And meanwhile, Undying gonna take a few more rainbows of love. Blink Bloodseeker great again. Trying to get the position and then can't blink, obviously, with the. Uh, oh, MFC neutralized. Pretty sure we couldn't see the rainbows for the smoke there. Oh dear, oh dear. VNG, return kill. Blink combo dead. Blink Blood Seeker great again. Thinks he can have a little bit of a go here now. Obviously, Tiny's combo is on cooldown for a few more seconds. What about this farm though, guys? On this Ricky. Look at this shit. 15k, 25 minutes. Not well, the most farm person I've ever seen at that point, but still, I mean, for somebody who's on the losing team, not too shabby. New Diffusal Blade. Now, he obviously wants a Skadi, that's what you need here, Skadi. Or actually, maybe Deso. Oh, the wards, the wards, Ricky, they see you, they're gonna get you, Ricky, you're gonna get you, you're gonna die. Yeah, defeated by a 50 gold item and a 100 gold item. Blink forward from hey, combo onto Kingy, Kingy goes down. Gonna go in on VNG, VNG goes down. VNG goes down. Link forward on to Alex. Alex does not go down. He will pop the um, tombstone and they shoot back off at that point. But still, three kills in a matter of seconds. Kill lots back though. Cedar Low with the questionable warding. I'm not sure. Okay. This is free gold, guys. You can farm that. I'm 
Okay, here they come now. We got invisibility ness. Hey, gonna come forward. He's looking for a blink target. I mean, it's gonna be a blink heal. Yeah, by the way, we can see you. Oh, the courier! Courier gets sniped. No. Dust? No, dust? Only dust on the tusk. The fuck? <coughs> Aetherlands now for the Shadow Shaman. Looks like they've decided finally, let's push in a little bit. That's the 27 minutes. So, what we can say basically is that Fetty Attack 786 have got progressively better at fighting against um, Destination Requiem over the three games of the tournament. And, uh, you know, just goes to show you that maybe scrims are a good idea when it comes to preparing yourself. Meanwhile, back in Kansas, we've got Make Bloodseeker great again, trying to push this tower. Oh, baited with the, the uh, wow, Tusk was TPing and Ricky took him out. That's beautiful. Make Bloodseeker great again, gonna have the opportunity. These guys, they're focusing on Roshan at the moment and they're gonna maybe lose a tower for it. We will see responses now. Tiny, no TP on Tiny. He's going to have to walk, but MFC does have TP, he's going to be able to TP him, but a lot of tower damage done in that time. Yeah, sure, they did get the Aegis, and... Uh, oh, he's, he's going for it, he's not going to find him though. Attack speed on... 6-4. No Ags. Another blink forward, here is another kill for him. It's the Echo Saber, it didn't even proc it. Didn't even right click for that. <coughs> this is a fucking... Um, Pudge we're talking about as well. Big creep, clear wave. <sighs> hey, looking for the blink forward. Some more horses. Not so immune to magic though. Just gonna go in. Um, poke, poke, poke. Now, uh, no high ground vision. Hey, with the blink forward, the avalanche catches three. Managed to snatch back the keeper. Uh, that will be the Aegis exploded. Kill a lot though. 
Going to get the uh, ult off, and he is kind of trapped by the wards and fucking everything else, but it's not enough damage coming out of Ricky right now. And uh, make Blood Seeker great again, trying to come in. Basically, I think the ult was up from Matt, so there's some rainbow love for Undying. He's going to heal up, kill a lot, as opposed to himself, and then back off. I'm not sure about that. Here comes Zeniston with a punch. That will not kill um, Alex, and Zeniston going to get taken out. They do get the tower, the uh, wards are still up, but Matsu going to go down. No, he's going to get uh, saved at the last second by Xenotron, uh, by Cedarlow even. Cedarlow pays for his transgressions against the Ricky. Oh, Matsu with the assassination. There's the out from Ricky though, and he will take him out. Okay, so it seems like 33 minutes in and uh, they're ready to push a mid to tower, tier 1 tower. Team wipe, so we would expect to see at least something from this. I don't think they're going to get as much as they should have. We have got a gem getting picked up now by Hay. I think he's had just about enough of this Ricky in his antics. Obviously as well, Ricky can build his um, Skull Basher into... Abyssal. Nice amount of words though. I mean, look at this shit. Look at all this shit right here. Like 600 golds worth of words. Is that right? Is that even right? That seems too high. Yeah, 600 golds worth of wards just in a small area here. Actually, that's just an OBS, so slightly less. Haha! -ha. Centuries. They can see you kill a lot, they can see you so much. Two blink forward by blink, blood seeker great again. And BKB is up this time. Mats are going to pop the ult early. There's the ult from Ricky, but it's going to be to no avail unless he can. Wow, nice. Okay, they're going to get Matzo. Oh no, MFC it was. Oh, blink in on a Ricky, and I think Ricky's fucked now. He certainly is. Omni Knight going to get the kill. Kingy going to get shackled up. He's going to be swift to follow. There is going to be a heal coming in from. Alex, but it's not going to be enough. Punch goes down. Uh, buyback from Ricky, though. Another, yeah, another shackle on Kill a lot. They're going to kill Cedar Law, though. And Matzo and Tiny are going to have to just be left with retreat. Nope, Kill a lot's going to go for it. He's got the dust up. There's no casting any spells, and Ricky going to get that kill on Matty once more. Meanwhile, hey, gonna just get the fuck out of there. Oh, Zenison might get cut off here. We got this. Here we go. He doesn't see him. Can't quite get the ult off, can he? He gets the ult off. Zeniston going to be quick to follow. Here comes Rainbow Love, though. And uh, it looks like Ricky could get picked off here as well. The gem is on the ground. MC picks that up, and there's problems.
problem with this rookie build is there's not much regen to it. He's going to build the vanguard now. If he just builds shields, he will have the vanguard. And there we go. So I mean that will give him a bit more regen. Let's take him up to about 11 HP per second, maybe 12 if he's got the boots up. Matzo with the Octarine Core, it looks like what is he going for next? He's going to get a dig on for maximum image. Thirty seconds for Roshan respawn. So they are aware of the positioning here. Here comes Hay. Oh, make Slarder, make Slarder great again, make Bloodseeker great again. Gonna go in on MFC, MFC gonna respond. Here comes Hay though from behind with the blink toss combo into the BKB. Up comes the wards and kilowatts in the middle of all this. He is gonna start popping off his ult anytime soon. He's trying to get, get good positioning. There's the ult positioning. Law. I mean, I think it's pretty much all over, guys. 40 minutes, though. I mean, quite a good progression from 27. Hey, I think he has Aegis, though. No Aegis, actually. He could go down. No, he's going to get healed. Double kill. Double knockout. Make Bloodseeker great again, trying to take out Matzo, but the Radiant Sperm with the Dagon too strong. Oh, hook forward, but there's no Ricky to defuse all him. He is completely immune to physical damage. Blade Mail goes up, but it's physical damage is reflecting. It's not pure anymore, and he's immune to it anyway with the shield. Matzo just going to try and meme his way to victory here. He's going for it. He's going for it. He's going for it. Heal. Bash the H and some more. Ricky back in two seconds. Where is Matzo gonna die? Yeah, he's, he's dead now. Hi. Hiya. So I do believe in order to um, win this match, you need to lose your other rocks by fighting Megas for 25 minutes and then uh, win mid. So next item for Ricky, I mean it's got to be Scotty. Where's your Scotty at Ricky? Or heart, I'd be okay with heart as well. Oh, arcane to double damage, what a pain in the ass. Uh, double damage to arcane. Looking for some hot stuff in the jungle. Bum 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 bum. Oh, oh, oh. Finally remembers that he's got an ability to cancel out. No. Shapra! Shapra! Oh, there we go. And the illusions in for a little bit of slap and tickle.
Okay, they finally decided they will try for me. Flood, Sika, uh, Gray again. Here come the Ricky illusions. Hello, who is it? Punch, kick, it's all in the mind. If you want to test me, I'm sure you'll find. Bloodseeker great again, just chillaxing, you know, maxing. I even got a quelling blade to cut down some trees, man. It's really disappointing stuff. Like, a tree cutting core will be most disappointing. A little bit of a Horoshian. It's undetected at the moment, thanks to all the sentries. Star. Oh, blink forward from hey. This could be a bit of a mistake. He does have Ox. There's the ult from Matsu, and all of a sudden, Kingy's in there, gonna take some damage. He will actually go down to an Enchantress Rainbow. Meanwhile, hey, gonna go down for the first time. That's gonna be Aegis popped by Killalot. Killalot gonna go into Matsu now as well. Matsu gonna be probably next on the list, but he can't quite find the kill, and they've got uh, another kill. Nah, he's just not even gonna get anyone. He does have Ags, there's a heal, it's not enough, he goes down and that's going to be GG for sure. Um, there goes a uh, 4 for 1 trade, 1 trade being on the ages. And uh, 46 minutes though, well done guys, that's, that's decent. Mate, Bloodseeker, great, gonna get taken out. More rainbow love for VNG. He's gonna survive it though. He's fine. Look at all these gems. You want to come here and raid our gems? Yeah, I mean, that was. Uh... That's pretty much as expected. Destination right, we're making it through the upper bracket completely unmolested, not dropping any games, making it into the final, and. Taking it three, uh, three now. Congratulations, Destination uh, Requiem, the uh, kings of the money cap, and uh, Fetty Attack seventy six. Hard luck, better luck next time. Obviously, top four teams from this year's money cap automatically get invited to next year's, and um, I will sort out the prizes. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching these total meme stomps, these total rank uh, gank now uh, ravages. And uh, thanks for um, watching the uh, Money Cup.